1865, there was a raven-haired lass in Memphis, Tennessee, named Lou, short for Louise, everybody called her Lou, and she didn't follow music. And one afternoon, she was in the passenger seat of a car at a drive-up restaurant where you drive up and the waitress comes to your door. You know, like the 50s had so many, a malt shop, you might call it. And a girlfriend of hers was behind the driver's seat and they were eating their burgers and drinking their shakes or Coca-Colas or whatever they drink. And the passengers, the, the parking spot on the passenger side of the car was empty until this Cadillac screamed in and screeched to a halt. Lou's window was rolled down and the driver's window was rolled down on the Cadillac and he had a greasy black Pomodoro and he looked at Lou and he said, Hey, Blackie, I got what you need. And Lou's response was this. So, guy with the Pompadour shifts into reverse and screams out of there in search of greener pastures. And Lou's girlfriend behind the driver's wheel, who did follow music, said, You idiot! Do you know who that was? And she said, no. That was Elvis Presley, Lou. Five years later, my oldest brother, 20 years older than me, he was always more like an uncle than a brother. He was out of the house before I was born. And in 1960, he was working uh, unloading and loading barges on the Mississippi River in Memphis for between semester college money on summer break. And one day he and a friend decided to go up to Graceland and see if anything was going on because it wasn't a museum or anything yet. It was Elvis's house and security wasn't what it later became. And uh, there was nothing going on in the front yard or on the front gate. so but they heard commotion coming from the back of the house and they went around the back fence and there was a touch football game going on. And uh, my brother Wayman and his other friend uh, threw all their cool school knowledge out the window and they hopped over the fence and to Elvis's credit were allowed to join in on the football game. So my oldest brother, Wayman, played touch football with Elvis. When the game was over, he got to shake Elvis's hand, and Elvis and his entourage went back into the house, and my brother and his friend had to sort of unceremoniously leave the way they came, <laughs> back over the back fence. But I got what I need. <laughs> Eighteen years later, in 1978, at an Air Force base in K. I. Sawyer, Michigan, Lou became Wayman's third wife, and this is their song. <laughs> Juanita, 
She wasn't good for you Then you got it right at last When you hooked up with Lou She went six months before you We all knew soon you would I wish I'd known her better what I knew was good It comes a time to say goodbye And send you on your way Turn your body into ashes and get on with our day. To have one conversation now, I surely wish we could. I wish I'd 